Hi YouTube and welcome to an M's Lane update. Um, yep, this uh, we have an N-gauge shelf um, update for you. Um, some uh, considerable progress has been made. Um, more noticeably is that the track is down, um, unballasted and weathered, and uh, some scenery has started to uh, started to appear. And there's a couple of new uh, new additions to show you. Um, anyway, without further ado, we'll uh, crack on with the update. So yeah, well I'll just pan out and give you an overall shot. Um, track is down, weathered and ballasted. Um, we'll start here at the power point. Yeah, this is the power section. Uh, I see the wires run down there. And then we come to a Pico streamline point that branches off into two very short fiddle yards. Um, but I can live with that for now. Um, if things start getting extreme and I need a bigger fiddle yard, then you know we'll sort that. But for now, that'll do. So yeah, as you can see, the track is uh, is down and complete. It's ballasted and weathered. This is by no means finished. Um, the ballasting is quite okay. And there's a little section here what's come loose. Um, I weather the track first before ballasting. Um, when I've done, well, when I did come and barn, I ballasted then weathered. Um, and it was a pain. When I did keep the sidings, I weathered first and then ballasted, and that was a lot easier. So I've gone for that uh, up here. I used the Woodland Scenics Rusty Rail Pen. I don't really like it, but I've got it, so I thought I might, uh, might as well use it up. Uh, and it's done all right. It's worn off in some place. It goes a bit watery. Um, so yeah, so it's not done by no means with the ballasting and weathering. Um, I'm going to redo it all and try and get the same look uh, that I got down on Common Barn. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll start here. Uh, this is the power section. Um, where you can see these white marks, it was the start of um, a cutting um, as a seen it break for the train to disappear into. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't really liking it. Um, I haven't got a lot of space either side of the track and the cutting um, just looked too thin. Um, so I've scrapped that idea and I'm going to go for the um, for the bridge over over the top. I've not done, used a bridge before as a seen it break. Um, so looking forward to adding that. And I think it will have another piece of track on it as well, um, instead of a road. Well, it might have a road, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so then the track, uh, the line comes through the scenic break, and uh, we have the first set of points, which leads off into a siding up to the platform. Uh, so some wagons in there at the minute. Um, and then if we continue the track down, we branch off into another point. Um, which is the run round loop for the station. Um, now, people remember from the first update, um, I put the platform in and this embankment before the track work because I wanted to make sure I included this station. Ideally, the platform should have been up towards the left a tiny bit um, to accommodate, you know, stock in the platform. Um, but it just fits, I can just get the one coach in there before the points um, so I can live with it, but ideally it could have been, well, I don't know, 5 five mil maybe, a bit more to the left um, but it'll do um, and then we come down to the other end of the run round loop and then uh, straight round here um, the embankment's not finished, more trees will be added um, the green rail will be given a bit more of a, a touch up the stairs need a repaint here we've got a little um, outbuilding um, I'm going to have a bit of a work yard here, maybe a crossing over the track there. Um, not a car crossing, just a pedestrian one. Um, and then that is basically about it. Um, there is some greenery I did, in fact I'll just uh, wheel these wagons out and see all the greenery a bit better. Um, so yeah, there's greenery all down there, especially at the end of the platform. Um, but I'll get some Pico buffers for that as well. Um, little relay box I did there. Um, I have got some other little bits and pieces to add. Um, I've got a skip, a toilet block and things like that. Um, but I'll wait till I've got the more major 
merger pieces in before they had the little things. Um, one of the newer items is this signal box. Um, it's a little end signal box. Uh, and actually it's the same style as the one I want for Common Barn. Um, I love these signal boxes. This is how I uh, expect a signal box to look like. Um, this was a mega cheap eBay grab. Um, and it's it's just nice before all the point work and then before whatever disappears, you know, whatever track work disappears down there. Um, so yes, yeah, lovely item. Really like it. Really happy. Goes well with the uh, with the shelter on the platform. Um, another purchase was I'll just put the twenty seven out of the way. Now this is a DMU um, trailer car. Oh, don't want to go into the loop. Uh, it's a Graham Farish DMU trailer car with working uh, head code and lights. Um, in fact, I'll just try and get that on for you because I didn't know these, it came with these, which is a good feature for the trailer car. Um, this is going to be to operate some push and pull services. Uh, so the 27 will drag it in um, and then it can be driven out from the the DMU end. Um, another bargain eBay find. So happy with that. Um, and then hopefully for Christmas um, there will be um, a new loco for Ems Lane. Won't tell you what it is. Um, but people who know me can probably have a good guess as what it might be. Or what type of loco it'll be. So watch that space with this. So uh, that really is about it for them, Blaine. Um, bit more scenery work to be done. Um, you know, ground cover, touching up trees, things like that. Um, but hopefully it shouldn't be too long before I've finished. Um, so yeah, I think this is only the second update for Ems Lane. Um, should have done one in between really, but work's just, you know, cracked on. I've just carried on with it. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, so until the next Ems Lane update. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Uh,